Hello everyone, welcome to the video number 5 for the Visual Basic for Applications in Excel series and in this video we're going to see um, how to make, well, more how to pull a subroutine from another subroutine. So let's go to the Visual Basic for Applications editor. Remember you can just click here or press Alt F11 and let's uh, I mean, just insert a new module. And, well, let's start with a very, very uh, easy or simple example. Something like what we did on the previous video. Range A1. Dot Oops, value equals, and I'm going to put my name here. Okay, but now what we're going to do is before this, let's create another subroutine. So, um, I don't know, start here, I guess. And what we're going to do is that we're going to call this subroutine from this other subroutine. Uh, so, when we start coding, at least it happened to me, and I think it's something pretty uh, common, uh, we can, or we would like sometimes just to start writing code, and our subroutines can be very, very long. And when we run that subroutine, well, guess what? We find that we have errors, but the problem is that uh, we need, obviously, to find and fix that error. And if our subroutine is very long, sometimes it's kind of hard to find where we have the mistake, where things are going wrong. Uh, so the idea of this is to be able to create uh, short subroutines that are more specific, that can um, take specific tasks. And so we can kind of like divide, I guess, our, uh, our program. So that's what we are doing here. I'm creating this very specific subroutine that is for uh, greeting the user. And this is, let's say, our main subroutine. That's why we're going to start here. So the first thing we need to do is, or we want to do is to greet the user. So we're just going to call this subroutine. How we do that? Well, just, you can be lazy like me uh, and just copy and paste. And actually that's it. Uh, let's just run it and see if I didn't mess anything up. Well, you can see it, it, wrote, uh, it wrote my name right here in A1. This is basically what I wanted. If I change this name, run it again. So what is happening here? Let's come here to the to the first subroutine and let's do a step by step uh, run of the program. You can press F8 to do that. So it's gonna start. Then it's gonna uh, call and try to find this uh, subroutine user greeting. It finds it, so it goes inside of it. Now it's gonna execute this line of code, it writes the name on A1, then it ends the subroutine, go back to the other subroutine. We don't have any more code, so it goes directly to the to the ending line, and it ends the other subroutine. Um, and well, actually, basically that's it for this video tutorial, but I, I just want to show you something more, well, a more, proper, I think, way to, to call the subroutine or the other subroutine is to actually write the, the, uh, the word call. As you can see, it turns blue, means that it's a reserve word. And this is actually, it can make it more visual for you when you are debugging or for some other, uh, some other people, if you, you share your, your code with somebody else, it's more obvious that, okay, this is calling, so that there must be a subroutine with this name. 
So in this case, I just have that subroutine, but you can have many, many, or many other subroutines. So it's it's better to use this uh, call uh, reserve word. And now again, I'm just kind of making a translation of the series that I made in Spanish, but luckily for you guys, I'm gonna give you a sneak peek of what we are going to be seeing until video 31, I think. And something that is more, uh, or that gives more value to this is when we start passing parameters or arguments to our servitins. So in this case, for example, instead of having my name just like this, I can put a variable. We haven't seen variables yet. That's why we're gonna see this later in more detail. I'm just gonna try to do it uh, a little bit fast, just so that you can see. Here inside of the parentheses of the, of the server team, I can place name as string, and then here I will need to uh, declare the variable, the name as string, and then assign the name here. We can assign the name, and we are gonna see how to do this later. For example, I can, I can put here an input box and receive input from the user. I can ask the name for, from the user and whatever the user enters, I can assign it to, a, to this variable. In this, in this case, it's gonna be pretty much what I was doing. But when we see how to put an input box, you can just replace it in here. And this name is gonna be assigned in here. So now the only thing we need to do is put it in here at the end. So I'm calling this uh, subroutine and I'm passing this variable to it because it's gonna need it. It's declared here that it's gonna need a variable called name. So well, let's change this again because I have Raphael's. And well, there it is. So it's basically the same thing. You just do a step-by-step. I'm going to assign to a variable, then I'm going to pass that variable and call the subroutine, I find it, then use that variable to write it in A1, finish the subroutine, go back to the original one and finish the subroutine again. So pretty nice. Well, I think. Uh, so again, instead of making your code very, very long, you can use this advantage and just divide your program in very specific tasks you don't have to be very fanatic about this, obviously. This was just an example of just one single line of code. But of, co of, of course, you can make chunks of code. But again, just think about keeping specific tasks and create a subroutine for that. And then you can, again, make your main subroutine that is going to be calling other subroutines. Actually, from this, I can call another and then another. Uh, it can uh, become a little bit uh, weird or messy if you are not caref careful with this. Uh, but well, that's basically the idea, how to, to call another subroutine from inside my subroutine. And you can do this as many times you want. You can use these calls inside of loops or inside of decisions, uh, decision blocks, so uh, all sorts of things. And well, I think that's, now it's uh, all for this video. And well, I hope that you have find this video interesting and useful. And uh, please don't forget to subscribe so that you stay tuned to the channel. And well, please don't forget to subscribe and share and subscribe to like and share. And well, as always, thanks all of you guys and girls for watching and I hope to see you on the next video.